What is up everybody? Today I'd like to quickly showcase a few up and coming maps created in anticipation of this year's Halloween Scream Fortress events. If you happen to miss it, nearly one month ago Valve released a blog post explaining roughly what they've been working on lately in regards to TF2. Included in this post was a veritable call to arms to content creators with Valve announcing that they're going to be handing the Halloween reins over to the community this year. They claim that they'll be showcasing items, maps, taunts, and unusuals. The deadline for these things is October 18th. Now as a mapper, this is not much time at all. Creating something brand new from scratch was going to be generally out of the question unless you're an insane person. Some mappers were lucky enough to have Halloween projects long in the works, but quite a few of us, myself included, and I'll get back to that at the end, decided to take older projects we have and retheme them to fit the holiday. A lot of really cool maps came out of this. So quickly I'd like to feature a few of those that I personally enjoyed. Up first is CP Gorge Event, also known as Gord. The creator of this map, Puxorb, started out about a year ago and was in a very fortunate position when Valve announced it was looking for maps this year. Now personally, I'm very rarely a fan of stock map reskins. A lot of them tend to be just quick skybox and lighting changes and maybe a few different textures thrown around, but this one is definitely not a quick half-assed attempt. Puxorb gutted the stock version of Gorge, reducing it down to near alpha map status, and rebuilt it from the ground up with all new geometry. At first glance, you might not even be able to tell what this map was originally. Coupled with some interesting gameplay changes and a cool use of the clock mechanics, this is a map that I think is one to keep an eye on this year. Up next is CP Sunshine Event, also known as Sinshine. Now for those who play competitive TF2, you're most likely very intimately familiar with this map. The creator of this map, Phi, was in a very similar situation as myself. We were both sort of caught off guard by the one month heads up notice from Valve looking for Halloween themed maps. Now where most mappers were looking into their back catalog of projects for maps already similar to the Halloween theme, Phi took the deadline as a challenge and absolutely blew it out of the frickin' water. During its development, she was sharing work and progress shots with us, and I was absolutely blown away with the speed that she cranked this reskin out. And not only did she do it fast, she did it very well. Phi absolutely nailed the Halloween aesthetic, and added in some fun twists to the gameplay like death pits and pumpkin bombs that really mixes it up from the standard version of the map. So I'd personally like to commend Phi on a great job with this map. Using a map whose gameplay was so highly tested and refined was a really cool idea to throw this theme onto. It plays just as well as the standard version, which is to say, very well. Sunshine was already one of my favorite 5 CP maps as is, and add in a dash of shenanigans thrown on top only makes it better for me personally. And finally, I couldn't get away without a little self-promotion here. Some of you may have played the regular version of this, but I'd like to introduce Koth Moonshine Event. Now this map was not originally my project, it was created by Hey You, someone who I previously partnered up with on the map Stony Ridge. The original of this map was something that was created back when the Swamp Pack was first introduced, and it's actually something I recall testing and playing over seven years ago. This map has been a map longer than I've been a mapper. Hey You had sort of semi-retired from the mapping scene with his job and family taking focus in his life. However, for a short amount of time I managed to drag him away from his loved ones in order to crank out a few projects. We previously updated Stony Ridge to RC2, as you may have seen in the release video I put together, and next we moved on to Moonshine. Hey You did some gameplay changes to the map that he's been wanting to do for a while, and then did the bulk of the Halloween reskin before passing it over to me. My role on this was to do what I do best, add in the shenanigans. I created the underworld area, added in the Wheel of Doom mechanics, placed spells, worked on the Halloween retheme further, and did a whole bunch of refinement to the map that I've been itching to do for years. I was honestly a bit geeked out to work on this one, as I've been playing it for a very long time. In the end, I think we came up with a really fun and solid project. The Halloween mechanics put a fun twist on an already solid map, and I think the visuals turned out really cool. So if you'd like to see any or all of these maps included in this year's Scream Fortress event, check the description below for links to their respective workshop pages, and be sure to rate, favorite, and subscribe to them. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in some of these spooky maps in the near future!